Here is Lonnie wearing an oversized red and white striped sweater with black skirt. This is a perfect casual outfit for a trip to a mall or a cafe or just about anywhere. A while back, I think I said I was going to start a series where we make these clothes for Evie's collection. She's a fashion designer and she needs some portfolios. Then one of the viewers sent in a request specifically for Lonnie. Basically, it's a red sweater, black miniskirt, and brown boots. I originally got this socks because it is red, but when I was about to work on this project, I kind of liked the white stripes. So I changed my mind and decided to make this red and white striped sweater. This sweater is going to be oversized sweater because of the thickness of this material. I picked out this socks because of the fluffy texture and I like fluffy things. So to make this sweater, I made the pattern by tracing Lonnie's dress and then adjusted a little bit so it's not poofy. I added a little bit of hem lines so we have a little bit of space to sew things together. I made it long, almost as long as Lonnie's dress because it's going to be an oversized sweater. You can really only do oversized sweater with material that's this thick. Otherwise, the sweater will bunch up on the top and she will get too top heavy. So to pull off this thick material, she needs to go oversized the top and then very small or very tight bottom. I cut the front and back pieces together at the same time so we can preserve the stripes. I stitched the two pieces together and then it's time to add the arms. Because the material is so thick, we can only do short arms. Long arms will make Lonnie look extra big. The dress is literally falling apart as I was making it because these fluffy things are barely holding on to these mesh. And as soon as I cut the mesh, all these fluffs are falling off the mesh. I hemmed all of the edges off screen so the dress doesn't come undone. But yeah, another hazard of working with fluffy socks as my material. Again, the arms are cut out using the naturally folded areas of the socks so I don't have to try to so more than I needed to. I stitched the arms and then hemmed the edges using overstitches to prevent fraying. The dress is very elastic so Lonnie can get in and out of the dress by stretching the dress. No other fasteners were needed for the dress. After the arms are stitched and the edges are hemmed, it's time to make a skirt. The sweater is long enough that we can probably say it's a mini dress, but eh, I think a skirt would look better, so nothing too fancy. The accent piece is the sweater, not her skirt, so basically I traced Lonnie to get the side right, and then I added some hemlines. The same pattern is used for both the front and back. The back pieces are cut into two pieces so Lonnie can get in and out of the skirt. The skirt does not stretch so Lonnie will need a wider mouth to get in.
Here is the sweater and the skirt. She still needs a pair of boots to complete the look, but I think that's going to require a little more work, so we'll work on that in the next video.